Welcome friends to the Beaver Dam. We are talking about ruined teams today. And I, this is a surprising one to talk about, but I still see this in Kyber. I still saw it through Erodium. I see it in kind of every part of the game. It's not often, but every time I see it, it hurts my soul. Just like we talked about in our last video where we talked about cam and getting your cam up. Make my life difficult. I want my life to be difficult. Make it hard for me to counter your teams. And in this game, it takes a lot to ruin a team. Uh, because, like, yes, you can have suboptimal teams. Like, you can have a Supreme Leader Kylo Ren with Empire units. You're not breaking anything. You could have them with gas. You're not breaking anything. You're not ruining a team. Are you using it suboptimally? Yes. But you're not breaking the team. In fact, this can be actually really good in a lot of cases. The Imperial Troopers, uh, regardless of the fact that they don't have any synergy with Shock T, you drop a Shock T into them and they can clean up a Lord Vader for you. Without the Shock T, you don't have a buff to spell and your characters could die off too quickly. And so there's there's times when you can do this and you can you know split the teams up, do things specially. But there's five teams. There's technically six, but the sixth one I still have not yet seen anyone pull this, and I'm glad. And I so I I'm using the sixth one as an honorable mention. But the five teams that can be ruined, we're gonna go over. Over today uh, and if I missed any please throw it in the comment section uh, especially if you're seeing it in Grand Arena and in Territory Wars we want people to be able to know not to break up synergies uh, and like not to break up synergies to the point where the team is useless so jumping right in we're gonna start here with the bottom this is our honorable mention we'll move myself over whenever we do teams uh, videos we always got to move me over so over here I'm on the other side, so I gotta think about that. Over here, we have the Gungan team. This is the honorable mention for us. We don't get the shield generator if we don't have all Gungans. I have yet to see anyone do this unless they don't have Jar Jar. And obviously, if you if you don't have Jar Jar, you should probably be using them on offense anyways. Um, if you don't have a full team of Gungans, you don't get the shield generator. Don't do it. It was a glitch for a while where you could do it. It's gone now, so don't don't think about it. Uh, but going into the first one, this is one that a lot of people don't realize because it's it looks on paper and it's actually on paper. It looks bad uh, <laughs> in actuality and how it looks from just a regular perspective. If you don't read every single piece of the kit, this looks like a fine team. This the Sith Empire looks like it'll work just fine. If I were to go in here, edit the team and drop in, uh, we'll, we'll say, come on, just a Sith, any Sith, please. Uh, Darth Vader like let's say we put a Darth Vader in here um, immediately you're like okay Darth Vader in here yeah that's gonna be good right it, it doesn't technically break synergy uh, you know he doesn't get the leadership ability because the leadership ability says Sith Empire but we're not breaking anything right wrong there is one piece of this kit that actually breaks uh, and so that's why it's number five is because it's just one little piece, but it is an important piece And so if you're throwing something in uh, It better be really good like even throwing in something like a talon can honestly be not great uh, And I do love talon in any sith team, but the piece of the kit we're talking about is that uh, If all allies are sith empire at the start of the battle sith empire allies have plus 50% critical damage. Now that is a lot of damage to miss out on. Yes, I know my mods are gone. I just did a whole bunch of stuff on stream, territory battles, raids, all that kind of stuff. It'll be fixed in a sec. I know I'm going to get comments about that because it happens, but don't miss out on this 50% critical damage. The rest of this is, you know, Sith Empires are uh, allies are immune to turn meter reduction. Like it's it's not anything bad that's saying, oh, you can't have Sith allies. It's just saying they're not they're gonna miss out on some of this stuff. But this one specifically, this little piece, you're gonna lose out on 50% of your critical damage for doing something like this. So something to think about. If you're gonna replace something, Talon's one of the few ones where I'm like, okay, yeah, you can replace someone on Darth Revan and still be like doing some good stuff because Darth Talon kind of gives some good boosts that could push you over the edge on certain counters, especially lower on where you're like, oh dang, I don't have a fast enough Darth Revan, but if Darth Revan takes first turn, I win. Maybe that Darth Talon is the last little bit of speed that you need to pull off the counter could be worth it. But in general, you're going to want to keep this team to full Sith Empire. Now going into our next team, this is where we start to get into, you're breaking the team. You, the, you're, you're breaking the team. Stop it. 
stop now while you can this one's really obvious i feel like i don't see this very often except in squad arena but star killer the star killer team star killer has very specific wording at the start of the battle if there's no galactic legend ally so don't put them with a galactic legend and star killer has exactly one jedi one light side on a line force user, one sith one dark side on a line force user. very specific i feel like most people know about this so it's that's why it's number four it's not very high on the list because i don't see this very often besides squad arena and a couple times in really really low area gameplay i really haven't seen this as a problem but do pay attention uh especially in 3v3 because in 3v3 if the conditions for this ability were met um of any of them uh, whereas in 3v3 any combination where the team includes no more than one of uh, any of them it still works so you know pay attention in 3v3 don't run two sith or two light side online force users or make sure you're at least you know paying attention to that but in general not one I'm seeing a ton, but it is one that can break the team entirely. In fact, if you're if you're like looking at a Starkiller team and you're like, dang, I don't think I can beat that, but you have a team that can kill off one of the characters, this is very specific. It's at least one of, or exactly one of each of these. And so if you can bring in a team and just kill off one enemy, and then you're just like, okay, submit. Now, all of a sudden, all of Starkiller stuff turns off. And so it's definitely something to pay attention to, whether you're attacking it on offense or placing it on defense or using it in general. Make sure you're not breaking the synergy for this team. <clears throat> now going into the next three, the next three, the top three, these are the big ones. These are the ones where if you do this, I'm sitting there and I'm like, I am so worried about you. Like, are you, are you doing okay? Do we need to talk? Uh, if you need a friend, let me know, because I'm really worried that you're breaking up these team synergies because it makes the team so easy to counter if you're breaking up these synergies. And number three, we have Aiden Versio. This is probably the one I honestly see the most often. There's a reason that it's not number one on this list. Um, trust me, it, there's a reason. But overall, Aiden Versio is probably the one I see broken up the most. There's so much in Aiden's Versio kit that like locks out so many different things. I think in the future, Enoch might be added to this list because of the same thing. Uh, but so much is calling out in the kit. Uh, no other allies have the leader tag. Whenever a non-droid Imperial Trooper ally attacks at a turn, like uh, there's so much in here that's calling out, hey, don't do this. Uh, at the start of the battle, if no other allies have leader tag, Imperial Trooper allies also gain all of this. So like at first glance, it looks like you can use Dark Trooper here at, at least, but you look at the uh, like her revive and everything and uh, it, you shut off her revive if you uh, use it. So her, her leadership ability isn't technically turned off uh, by the Dark Trooper, but her revive is. So definitely not something you want to do to put Dark Trooper or a character with a leader tag in. I see this a lot and it means that I could throw anything at this team instead of having to utilize wampa or something that's actually good uh because that's kind of the answer when it comes to Iden versio and it's one of the reasons why i put Iden versio really high in my like list of teams is because like there's some teams out there uh like you know general grievous where it's like you either throw wampa against this or you throw another fairly easy team against it Iden versio feels like you either throw wampa against it or if you have an ad red you have an ad red but then otherwise you're gonna have to throw something and it might get messy so <clears throat> i i have a lot of respect for this team and you should too please do not break up the synergy like this make sure that you're using just random allies and in fact you could just use a gear eight Iden versio with some gear 12 troopers and still pull off a lot more than what's a possible with a piet and a dark trooper with the with the zetas and everything like th this is not going to be new nearly as good as Iden Versio with just some random troopers. Going into number two, this is another one I see quite often. Now, I put this one this high on the list because I see it often and I also love this team and I don't want people to mess this team up. Now, now that Keandi Moody is much more available to people and a lot of people have them because they bought a light speed bundle, I do want to talk about the Keandi Moody portion as well as the uh, Qui-Gon Jinn and the Anakin. At first glance, this looks like a very open kit because you look at the leadership ability and you're like, oh yeah, Jedi allies have this. At the start of the battle, if there are no Galactic Legends and all allies are Jedi, you gain all 
of this perk. So it's like, okay, yeah, I just have to use Jedi. But when you have Jedi Knight Anakin on the on the field, whenever another ally falls below 50% health or is defeated, Anakin takes a bonus turn. His next attack deals 100% more damage if all allies are Galactic Republic. Meaning you have to stay within the boundaries of Jedi, and you need to stay within the boundaries of Galactic Republic to get the full effect of Qui-Gon and Anakin. Otherwise, you're having your damage on Jedi Knight Anakin. Now, going into Kiati Mundi, it becomes even more detrimental because Kiati Mundi, at the start of the battle, if all allies are Galactic Republic Jedi, they have plus 30 speed, plus 40% max health, plus 20% offense. Uh, so you need the Galactic Republic and the Jedi for him to really pop off with this. Uh, and so if you want that extra, you know, speed, which equals extra offense, and that extra offense, that extra beefiness, you need Galactic Republic Jedi. So please do not break up the synergy of this team. It is very important. This is an amazing team. It still has, is in, you know, the top teams for hold rates by far. 22% uh, like we looked at it the other day. Like, do not sleep on this team. So I, I'll see people, you know, that are just like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll throw in... Um, <clears throat> I'll, I'll throw in my old Ben in here because old Ben will be a good tank for them. I'd rather you not have a tank than an old Ben. Honestly, if if you are like sitting there and you're like, dang, all I have is Jedi Anakin and Qui Gon, do this. I don't care. You know, uh, do all like level gear one characters. I don't care. It's gonna be better than uh, doing a um. Uh, doing something with other types of Jedi. That double damage on Jedi Knight Anakin means that Qui-Gon Jinn gets killed and Jedi Knight Anakin just take out of the whole team. In fact, this is basically what the team looks like when Arnold uses it on his free-to-play on defense, and uh, it has taken down a full Relic Afra team. They killed off Qui-Gon, and then Anakin just poof, killed everything. I have the, the data. I show it in the Discord quite often. It's it's really entertaining to look at. I love things like that. So please, please do not sleep on making sure you have full Galactic Republic Jedi on this team. Now, this last one is one that's uh, interesting because it's... How do I put this? He was the king of the meta, and he no longer is. But that doesn't mean he's not a fantastic defensive team, and uh, he's one of the best offensive teams in the game. And so when I see this on defense, and I see it with this character, I lose just a little bit of my brain cells. And I don't want to lose brain cells. I want to be smart for my grand arena. Uh, so, number one is Darth Malgus with HK-47. <laughs> Uh, if you look at Darth Balgus, his leadership ability, Sith Empire allies are immune to turn meter reduction uh, for each Sith Empire ally at the start of the battle. Uh, Sith Empire allies have plus 10% crit chance and max speed or max health and 10 speed. Already great, and so you're missing out on 10% max health and crit chance and 10 speed. And so you're like, oh dang, that's that's rough to pull away. Like it doesn't feel like HK is detracting anything, but it, it definitely hurts. But then uh, you look down here, Sith Empire allies gain 50% mastery, 30 speed, 80% crit avoidance, and you're like, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, all of this looks like uh, looks like it's fine, you know? Sith Empire. It says Sith Empire. It says Sith Empire. At the start of the battle, if all eyes are Sith, Malgus gains an additional 50% max health, max protection, 60 speed at the start of the battle, and Darth Malgus recovers 100% health and protection, which means a cleanup does not really work very well if you get him close to dead. All of that turns off if you have HK. Like up here, you know, oh, Sith Empire allies, yeah, great, it all works. Uh, down here, it, it all works. Shuts off. And then you look at Korriban's legacy. The start of the battle, he gains max protection, max health for each other Sith ally. You're losing out on, you know, your max health and max protection. Uh, additionally, if all allies were Sith at the start of the battle, all of this block of text turns off. If all, all allies are Sith at the start of the battle, this entire Omicron turns off. You're essentially turning off all of Korriban's legacy and a solid amount of stuff in the Datacron for his, uh, or his Omicron for his leadership ability. And so, like, technically, is it going to break the team? No. But does this make it so it can be Imperial Troopered? Yes. 
an amalgus team that can be imperial troopered is depressing it can also be bounty huntered um like this opens up so many counters that it hurts so please take a second get your malgus on a good team get him away from hk47 yes you may have a relic hk47 for leviathan maybe you relic him just because you like hk from the kotor games hk does not have a home it hurts my soul too this is one of my favorite characters from kotor i still love him to this day and if they were just to give him a sith tag all they need to do is add a sith tag right here and instantly he's viable again but right now please don't use them with your malchus so these are the teams that i'm looking at one i still haven't seen anyone mess it up and i hope to keep it that way the rest of them are varying levels of painful um you know obviously darth revan it can be beneficial to drop a character uh it can be beneficial to do something like that um but overall you don't want to miss out on that crit damage going into star killer it can mess it up but i don't see it very often because people understand star killer fairly, fairly well but then when it gets to Aiden, qui-gon and darth malgus the, these are see commonly even th in areas of the game like uh <clears throat> like going into kyber 2 like i've seen accounts that do this and it's painful so please fix your squads make sure you're utilizing your characters there's not a lot of squads that you can actually ruin but here's the ones that you want to keep an eye out and i may add enoch in the future but honestly I, no one has enoch and i'm not seeing a lot of people you know using enoch in an improper way mostly because i've seen him on defense exactly once and that's because the only people that are really rocking him at high relic levels and being able to use him are high kyber uh kyber one essentially so we'll see as time goes on but i'm hoping that people don't fall into the same trap as Iden versio thank you guys so much for watching if there's a team that i missed please throw it in the comment section below we want to make sure that no one's ruining any of their teams uh so thank you guys so much for watching and oh ooh. Random Jedi and the JMK team also broke the synergy of JMK. That's one I forgot. I just remembered that one. Just use a classic JMK team or use all Galactic Republic. That's just that that that's it. That's all you got to focus on. Use all Galactic Republic. Try not to use Jedi in a, in that team. I've seen that one break down. Uh, but sorry, the side tangent. But I just remembered that one. Uh, but if there's any other ones that I'm not remembering, please throw them in the comments section. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.